Hey, this is Movie Edge, and this is my video for what I picked up at the Kino sale in um, April. Kino Lober putting out a sale every so often, and I decided this time I'm going to pick up six titles. Um, spend $50 or more, you get free shipping, so that's what I did. And... Um, <clears throat> one of them was really cheap, so that's why I got six titles. Usually I only get five. I haven't done this sale in a long, long time. So first time in a long time that I picked stuff up from the Kino sale. If you like what you see in this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check me out on Instagram at MovieEdge1 and leave comments there as well. All right, so I'm going to show you what I got at the sale. None of it's opened. It's all still factory sealed. And um, I'm just going to pick them out. Of, well, actually, no, I'm going to go into uh, theatrical order here from the oldest to the newest. The oldest one I got was uh, W.C. Fields, The Bank Dick. The reason why I wanted this one for so many years is because Shimp Howard actually is in it from the Three Stooges. And um, this is a good one. It's not that long of a movie. It's 72 minutes from 1940, but it is a damn good one. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I mean, it's W.C. Fields. It's comedy. It's good. Um, there is a Criterion DVD of this, but uh, I think this is a better transfer. And if you're a Three Stooges fan, of course, Shimp Howard. Next is from 1940. This is Mae West and W.C. Fields in My Chickadee. Now, I haven't seen this one in a long, long time. They used to show this one um, on TV, WGN, Chicago, a long time ago during, like, rain delays and the Cubs games and stuff like that. But uh, this is a good one, too. I heard, I was reading... A lot about this movie and these two did not get, get along together very well but uh this movie is original screenplay by may west and wc field so don't understand they didn't get along but they had the screenplay but whatever this is not a pre-code movie because it's 1940 so it's not going to be as raunchy as the may west films that were pre-code there you go. Next, another W.C. Fields movie. Never give a sucker an even break. There you go. And um, <clears throat> some 1941, 71 minutes. And um, yeah, this, this is a good one too. Haven't seen in a long time. Uh, Franklin Peg, uh, Pegaborn. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He's in a lot of stuff uh, back then. He was in, oh, I don't know, he was in um, a Little Rascal Shorts. He was in a bunch of Heil Roach stuff in general. And he was in just a bunch of movies in and out. When you see his picture or, you know, whatever, you'll, you'll know who it is. Um, <clears throat> the rest of the people, um, Leon Elroy. Arroy, I think I'm pronouncing that right, but he's in it. He's a famous comedian of the time as well. But, uh, yeah, it's a vintage documentary on this. Well, we're checking out. Uh, if I didn't mention, it's 1941, 71 minutes. Next, it's not a W.C. Fields movie, but it is Three Stooges related because it's Shimp in it. And it is Pittsburgh. Chimp has a small part in this movie uh, with John Wayne and Marlena Dietrich and Randolph Scott. This is not a comedy. It's more of a dramedy, pretty much. But uh, yeah, Chimp is the comic relief as the tailor in the movie, making suits. And uh, you could see him on the back. He's right there. The clip is on YouTube online if you want to see all the stuff that Shimp was in in this movie. Just look it up. Pittsburgh. 
shoe powered and the clips will pop up but never owned it never seen it in its entirety this is from 1942 uh 92 minutes so this is a longer one and uh yeah uh special feature wise uh there's an image gallery and a theatrical trailer so not really much then i decided to get another one for my bob hope collection there's still one more i think they released kino release that i still need to pick up but this one i had it on dvd so i'm gonna make this a combo pack and it's fancy pants with lucille ball and bob hope this is a fun one and uh this one came out in 1950 92 minutes and who else is in it anybody famous no the rest of the cast i don't recognize but um this is a fun one to watch the, the, bob hope and, and lucia ball did make a lot of movies together you know the other one i want to pick up from um you know sorrowful jones it's a remake of a Shirley Temple uh, movie that they turn into a Bob Hope vehicle. And, um, yeah, so really no special features, nothing on here. And it's from uh, Paramount. Finally, something I wanted to pick up for the longest time, but it was on DVD in full screen. Don't want full screen because I hate full screen. Um, if a movie was meant to be in widescreen... Put it in widescreen. Don't put it in full screen. But this is, they went that away, that away. And um, it's pretty much um, a tribute to Laurel and Hardy in this movie. It is fantastic. Um, uh, da, da, da. Tim, McCann, Tim Conway, Chuck McCann. Um, let's see, there's the other guy. Uh... Richard Kai, Kyle, Kyle, the guy from um, the James Bond movie, played Teeth, Dr. The Gold Teeth, whatever his name was, he was in it. He was also in The Longest Yard with Burt Reynolds. He was in Cannonball Run 2, you know, and he was also in Happy Gilmore. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, this was from 1978, uh, 95 Minutes. This uh, has no spe special features, theatrical trailer. So if you're interested in this movie, and you like Tim Conway, this is an underrated comedy. It's very funny. And, um, you know, check out the back. You could pause it if you could see it, because there's a glare. I didn't take these out of the wrappers yet. But this one I highly recommend. It's on sale right now. I think... Let's see if I had the price here. Uh, no, there's no prices on it, but I think I paid like five ninety five for this. So this was well worth getting. Don't know if it's going to stay in print on Kino or move on, but it's a it's an MGM title. So there you go. Highly recommend this one. So that's all I got from the Kino sale. Six titles. For the collection all classics and that's what i'm trying to buy more of before the woke mob takes everything away from us which i truly doubt um everyone's got to complain about something that's offensive this is offensive <clears throat> anyway if you like what you see in this video like comment subscribe hit the notification bell like i said earlier um check me out on instagram movie edge one where i post everything i watch and uh sometimes i post what i pick up there as well so you can check it out i do have a picture of what i picked up from hamilton books so you could check that out there because i'm not going to make a video for that by itself but i will put that in my next month's video which would be this month april well whatever but uh <laughs> thanks for watching and remember Movies are your best entertainment.